Hi Leo, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your mid-August through mid-September uh, love reading for Leo Sun Moon Arising. And also if you have uh, Venus in Leo, this may be beneficial for you to listen to as it may resonate for you a bit more. Do check all of the signs. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. If you wish to get a personal reading, please go to my website, moonpietarot.com. There you can book your appointment and choose the reading that you would like. I am in the process of redoing my website with someone I'm working with, so to make it more uh, user-friendly and more with more easier access. So uh, I will still be keeping the availability to book up. So. Um, there won't be any issue with that, but if there is, I will uh, send a little video here to all of you to let you know that you can still, there is still a way to reach me if you need a reading. Um, also on my website, I'm still offering the How the Other Person Feels About You reading. Um, so you can go right over there and purchase that if you need more insight in regard to someone that you're dealing with. And Leo, happy birthday. Okay, for those of you who are still celebrating your birthday up until August 21st. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. So your overall energy for the month is the Seven of Pentacles. So this card is telling me that there will be uh, a lot of patience required whether in a relationship or in a dating situation. If you're single, uh, a lot of hard work. There could be some delayed success. You could be waiting to see what comes out of a situation or a relationship. Okay, this is, you know, similar to when someone is planting a garden. Their intentions are good. They're planting the seeds. However, it takes time for those things to grow. So it's, it could be on a delay. It doesn't happen right away. But this is the energy of putting effort in, either you or another person, or just having this effort type, type of energy. Now in your recent past, you have the Three of Swords. So some of you may have had an argument with someone or there may have been a break in a relationship or in a situation with another person, okay? Someone may have offered their love and another person may have rejected it. Uh, there could have been some information that was received, maybe some negative information or maybe someone found out there was another person involved in a situation that could have left someone feeling dis, uh, betrayed in a way, okay? Now, I don't often feel like the Three of Swords is a permanent break. I just feel like it's a, it's information of some sort that may have come or some type of communication. And there's um, not so much, you know, a feeling. It's not heavily weighed on a feeling of sadness, but the thought process is someone detaching mentally from an emotional situation. Now your current position, you have temperance. So this card is about having balance and restoring balance. Uh, having harmony, there's a feeling of self-control, moderation, balancing your emotions, perhaps in regard to a past situation. And I just feel like taking the high road in regard to whatever may have occurred in the past. It's challenged by the Eight of Rods. And when the Eight of Rods comes up, this is usually quick messages or positive news that's arriving. It could be something to do with traveling or receiving something that perhaps you have been waiting for. But it's positive news. However, it is a challenge. It is, it's a benefit to you, so it will be good for you that, to receive this. 
but it is in the position of um, it, it again delayed even though it's not reversed it's just a bit delayed but I do feel like you're going to get some good news sometime in uh, the beginning of the mid-August period or going into September And it could be about travel because what's at the root of the of the reading is the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords can talk about relocating or moving or traveling. Okay. It's like a necessary transition. And it, it also means getting out of a tumultuous emotional situation that has affected you mentally. Okay, so you may be receiving some news about traveling. Maybe there was a relationship that either ended and there's a chance to work on it again and making plans to move forward with either a person that you're currently dealing with or someone that is new in your life that you are interested in. They may reach out to you. It may take a little while. You may be expecting to hear from them or hoping to hear from them. But whatever this news is, I do feel like it will put you in a position of, of feeling at peace. Now, in the position of what's crowning you, and this is your thought process, you have the Five of Rods. And the Five of Rods talks about obstacles, perhaps some challenges or rivalry. It's not, it's not very serious. It's more playful energy. Uh, so you may be taking in, in, in your mind, you may be dealing with this situation, taking it with a grain of salt, saying, well, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You're not going to get bent out of shape about something. You feel your passion, energy is causing you to remain in, in control of your emotions and to remain balanced about whatever the outcome is or even hoping to hear from someone and that feeling of restlessness because you haven't heard anything yet, you will still find a place of peace. Okay. However, um, this could be an obstacle or a challenge that you may need to overcome within yourself because you may have a strong desire to get an answer right away from another person or to hear back from someone immediately. Even even if you're involved with someone, even if you're married, this could have anything to do with a decision that was made in the past that put a wedge between the two of you and perhaps not receiving an answer that you wanted from someone or uh, not receiving anything and overcoming the uh, you know the stress of having to wait and see but at the same time trying to stay playful about it and not get yourself into such a position where you are unbound imbalanced now your near future card is the moon and the moon talks about unseen problems and voluntary changes so this can be good as far as voluntary changes somebody makes a change in a situation and this has to do with the emotions okay so Things that may have been hidden in the past will begin to come to light. Okay, problems that may have been unseen begin to have light shed on them. So you begin to understand better about perhaps why a situation ended or why there was a disagreement that made you feel broken hearted or made another person feel broken hearted you begin to just have this clarity emotional clarity I feel you and the other person not so much communication with this card but 
sometimes I feel like the moon card can speak of intuition and what as well. And I feel like things will start to come to light for you about a past situation, um, how you react to that. There's no way to know just yet, except that I feel like this temperance card is really speaking that you're going to have a bit of a balanced energy about information, the truth, clarity that comes out. It won't be like the sun where it's extreme where you find out everything, but you begin to get little bits and pieces about something that maybe you misunderstood about another person. And maybe they will come to you and, and tell you that maybe there wasn't a third party situation, okay? Uh, or they'll come to you and say, it's not what you thought, or that they took a little time out to figure out what they wanted. There was a bit of a delay because they were unsure about something, okay? Um, so it's really important for you to maintain your sense of peace and emotional control throughout this time period, to not be rattled by the unknown, because you will get that clarity at some point. You will hear from this person. They will bring some truth. They will shed some light on things that, you know, perhaps you were so upset that you didn't want to talk or you didn't want to hear or they didn't and there was some kind of break in communication and now it will start coming forward for you now in the position of you and your advice you have the two of cups so this is wonderful this is about romantic love partnership proposal marriage so this could have something to do with taking a relationship to a higher level becoming more committed, uh, meeting someone for the first time and making a decision to start dating. That could happen. And the advice to you is to be open to this. Okay, even if you felt distraught in the past about a particular person or just your love life in general, this is telling you to stay open to it. And the reason is wonderful because external to you could be the other person who has the lovers and the lovers card also talks about partnership and deep love and balancing of two people together and also two people making a decision to be together and I know a lot of times I've heard tarot card readers say that this is a third party situation and maybe I'm not understanding that but I never got that impression from this card uh, and I don't feel that right now because I feel like with these two cards here, this is two people who do want to be together. And this is two people who are making a decision. They know, you know, at least within yourself, that there is some kind of partnership here. Okay, and you may be wishing that someone will propose to you or someone will take it to the next level or you may be wanting to do that with this person once you finally see what's going on here. And this person, I feel like they want that too. Okay, so I feel they are very deeply in love with you which is what that card is about. And so this is a balance card and you have temperance, which is also a balance card. So I feel that's very beautiful energy. Things will start to level out during this time period. In your hopes and fears, you have the high priestess. And you know, the high priestess is about secrets and mystery. She's about intuition and trusting yourself. So. I feel like for you, you're hoping that whatever was hidden will start to come to light. You are trusting your gut about a particular situation. Uh, you fear that perhaps the things that you may find out or the things that you think were going on in the past that they're going to come to you and verify that that's true. So you fear that. But again, as I said, I, I don't really feel like 
you know, even if something did happen in the past, even if there was a third party situation or someone was neglecting another, I feel like that's going, that energy is going to start clearing out now. And the truth is going to start being, being revealed about how they feel about you. And the high priestess is just telling you to really go in deep, you know, and ask yourself, what is it that you feel for this other person? What do you truly believe is happening? Not what your fears are telling you, but what your gut is telling you. And it takes practice to follow that and to find that place to hear that voice. So you may need to spend a little time trying to hear it. Because I know a lot of you may say, well, my gut's telling me this person's, you know, betraying me or things like that. And there's a fine line between your intuition and proof. And you have to find that balance and that fine line. You know, sometimes your intuition will scream to you and it will be so loud that you can hear nothing else. And other times your intuition will be so quiet like a whisper that you may have to go into a very quiet place just to try and hear it. Sometimes you may need to even fall partly asleep just to hear it. Sometimes it comes to you in your dreams. So it's a good practice for you to try to um, find that place within yourself and to be true to yourself, to be honest with yourself. And then your outcome position, and you have the star. And this is a wonderful way to end this time period because the star is about renewal and the star is about hope and inner clarity and miracles coming true, okay? It's also about having, a f having faith in another person because this is a love reading. There will be faith restored between two people the relationship may resume, it may not, but this reading is more about what's happening emotionally, energy-wise, between the two of you, okay? So I feel like that's a really good outcome for you, Leo. So stay hopeful and stay positive about your love life, whether you are single or dating, or you are currently dealing with someone, stay positive about the situation at all times. Unless you know for a fact um, that terrible things are happening and, you know, otherwise find that place where you can discern between the truth and your intuition and what you're feeling. Because I feel like things will work out for you during this time period in a relationship with this person or whomever it is. And as far as being single, it's really just about staying positive about your love life in general. And I know a lot of you who are single are saying, well, when is it going to happen? And when are you going to meet someone? If you haven't met someone, that it's because I, I personally feel it's not so much that you're blocked because I know a lot of you are you're doing everything that you can. You're out dating. If you're not actually being proactive in your love life, then you have no one else to blame but yourself. But if you are, then it's just not your time yet to meet someone. But I feel like there is a possibility that you're trusting your gut and being balanced and finding that inner voice within you could bring someone to you, could bring at least love to your doorstep during this time period. And um, if you have a particular idea of the type of person you're looking for, well, love really doesn't work that way, does it? Love basically chooses you. You don't choose it. So the opportunity for that to happen, I do feel will come for you during this time frame for you singles. Um, but you have to be open to it. Gain clarity about yourself. Trust your gut, your intuition. 
and some of you could meet someone traveling as well. Some of you may need to do that. Uh, some of you may be already speaking with someone who's at a distance to you, and uh, this could be someone new that you've recently been just talking to, maybe over online, you know, through the internet, things like that, and there could be an opportunity for you to go and meet them, or them to come see you, and actually seeing them in full could start to bring uh, truth and more clarity about this person to you and I just feel like everything will flow beautifully after this time period so Leo again a very happy birthday to you and again if you need a personal reading please visit my website moonpietaro.com and I will be more than happy to uh, give you a reading also please know real quick don't stop the video when you book your appointment you are not booking your appointment for that day you will receive a follow-up email from me stating everything that I need from you will be automatic response email. The readings can take up to seven days, depending on my booking schedule, but I will let you know. Okay, have a wonderful birthday month, and I will be speaking to you soon. All right, thanks. Bye.